Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another week of Premier League predictions. Obviously Boxing Day covering today. It's going to be an interesting one and my opinion is I think I'll be slightly interesting as well. But guys, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. Use the word SPORT as it's part on the screen now in your discount code and you get 10% off your purchase price. But anyway guys, I'm going to get straight into this video. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, give us a little big front up if you enjoy it, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Leicester City versus Manchester United. Manchester United had a perfect game against Leeds United at Old Trafford. I think uh, Mason Greenwood, was it? Was it Greenwood? Who scored in the first, like, three minutes? No, well, it's Scott Matolome, I had just remembered. But, you know, it really is interesting with Man United at this present in time that they can start to turn the screw and then they go back on this losing trail. Going over to the King Power Stadium, now Leicester's ain't the easiest place to go. So I'll go give this one a good draw and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace gets beat 7 nil against Liverpool at Southhurst Park the previous weekend before. I think, how did Filler go? Filler won, I just remembered as well, uh, beating, I think it was West Brom. But, you know, Crystal Palace are going to have to come back from the heavy defeat and it be at Villa Park, which, yet again, is not the easiest place to go. So, you know, some of this up on both sides, I'm going to give Filler the home win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Southampton. Now, Fulham, I think they're outside the relegation zone, but, you know, Fulham are playing a really good football at this minute in time. You know, I ain't going to take nothing away from them, but they're coming up against a very good Southampton side. Southampton side that really do look dangerous, uh, home and away this season. Yet again, another team that could call my underdogs because they really are taking the league by storm this season. Obviously, we're coming to the... We're planning the festive period now and basically it comes to an end very quickly. I think Southampton will get the three points out of this one though. And I'm going to go for a 3 nil Southampton win. My next one is a London derby. It's Arsenal versus Chelsea. I can't think Arsenal lost. Um, but yeah, again, let's talk about their struggling points for just a quick second. Down in 16th, I think they are. After Burnley win. I think that's why. Yeah, yeah so I think they're down in 15th, not 16th. But, you know, it really is um, struggling times for Arsenal. Going up against this Chelsea side that will be looking for the three points. And basically, you know, I think they get them at the Emirates Stadium. And obviously, London is in Tier 4, so no fans. But I still reckon Chelsea will have this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Newcastle. Now, Manchester City, can't quite remember how I got on. I know I won in the League Cup this previous midweek, just gone. And Man City, you know, doing okay in the league. I think Newcastle drew in the league. I knew I lost in the EFL Cup. I can't quite remember how both of these teams got on the previous weekend. But, you know, Man City probably will look favourites to do this uh, game and win it. I think they will. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield United versus Everton. Sheffield United pick up their first point against Brighton. Uh, their second point within this season. Uh, I did watch that game and obviously if you know, you know. But it frustrates me that Brighton did not play well at all. Points needed for Brighton and they failed uh, miserably. And we go to West Ham this week. I'll talk more about that when we get there to the West Ham fixture. But let's go over to the other side, which I like doing in, in my channel and on my videos. Great point for Sheffield United. Probably deserve all three of them, all or less. They're the first team that, you know, really didn't need points this previous weekend. 
and I nearly got him. I can't quite remember who scored. I think they had a goal disallowed as well for offside. But, you know, fair play Sheffield United. But going up against a very good Everton team this uh, Christmas period, I think it might be Boxing Day. I'm not sure if it's Boxing Day or 27th if it's going to be played. But, you know, I'm going to have to back Everton to win this one. And I'm going to have to go for a hefty 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leeds United versus Burnley. Burnley beat Wolverhampton. Uh, Leeds lost to United. Yeah. But Burnley, I was, thought I was, yeah, sure Burnley beat um, Wolverhampton. Great three points for Burnley. Lifts them outside the relegation zone and puts Brighton even in place below. But going up against a very good league side this weekend. I do think that the fat leagues will, you know, maybe go be looking for the three points as always. And, you know, we should be one of the games. I look at the fixture list and go and need three points from that one. I'm going to predict Leeds to win this one. And I'm going to predict them for 2 0 score. My next one is West Ham versus Brighton. Now, uh, Brighton this season, you know, is really poor. Uh, now I'm just gonna go over. We've only won one game at home in 2020. Uh, for you that don't know, and obviously feel free to put your comments, like your laughing emojis or whatever, and also put your predictions down below. But only one win in 2020 at home, not good enough. We didn't beat Sheffield United, did beat West Brom, did beat Burnley, and mind you, West Brom and Burnley were at the MX Stadium. But we did manage to beat Villa. And that's only that really down three points. That have kept us out of the relegation zone. But we're only two points off the drop now. And yet again if it all goes against Brighton. Then we could be in the relegation zone. Going into the new year. Going up against a very good West Ham side. Now for the first time ever since I've been doing these videos. We've got predict West Ham to win at the London Stadium. Against Brighton. Because West Ham are playing superbly well. Um, I know my Premier League prediction table's wrong with them, really wrong, but we'll get back over to that at the end of the season. Um, I'm going to predict West Ham to win, and I'm going to predict them for a 4 now West Ham win. I just feel like West Ham going to take the game to Brighton, and, you know, Brighton play their way, and West Ham just open us up. I really think they're going to do that. My next one is Liverpool versus West Bromwich Albion. Now, Liverpool... I can't quite remember how I got on. Klopp still moaning about the five subs. Um, obviously, concussion subs comes into play. I think it's this fixtures as well. Obviously, I think concussion subs are needed. But, you know, it's got to be one of them things, I think, where Klopp's got to keep on moaning until he gets his way. The only way we can really even it up is if we go give a, give, a, give each club 200 million like the small clubs, and then even it up, and I'll be fine with that, but obviously that ain't going to happen, is it? Uh, West Brom losing their previous game, I can't remember who they lost to, Sam Allardyce in charge as well, you know, but you got really have got to stick up for Liverpool, I do think, I think Liverpool will win this game, and I'll go for a 4-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Tottenham Hotspur, Wolverhampton losing this previous weekend to Burnley, I think. Uh, Tottenham, can't quite remember how Tottenham got on. But, you know, Tottenham are chasing that top of the table down. I think they're three points off Liverpool as it stands. Three or six, can't quite remember. But, you know, it's going to be one of them things, I think, where this could go against the odds. I think I'm, I'm going to twist it against the odds. I'm going to predict Wolverhampton to win. And I'm going to predict Wolverhampton to win two now. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give us a like. Big crap on that. You enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.